Din yan. Now this is a short video why I'll be talking about the reason why I carry so many Bibles. But people are asking me why do you carry all these Bibles and only one Quran? And in fact, last week I had a debate with uh, Daniel about this alleged crucifixion and he was uh, lampooning me, saying, why are you carrying all these Bibles and only one Quran? I don't even open it, open them. Well, Daniel, and all those who are in doubt why I carry all these verses of the Bible, the reason why I carry them is that there are so many verses of the Bible. And there is only one Quran. I carry one Quran. But so many versions of the Bible, and they're not the same. In fact, for a book to claim to be the Word of God, it has to pass and go through three criteria. Mm. First, it has to make the claim that it is the Word of God. Mm. And second, it should not contain any additions or deletions. And third, it should not contain any contradictions. The Quran has passed all these tests. While the Bible failed miserably, mm. in fact, if you read the Quran, Allah says the Quran, in Surah al hijr chapter number 15, verse number 9, we have without doubt sent down the message i.e. the quran and we will assuredly guard it from corruption following the good glorious quran allah swt says in surah and nisa chapter number four verse number 82 he said quran do they not then consider Quran carefully? Had it been from other than Allah, they would surely found there in many a contradiction. For in the Golos Quran, it is mentioned. In Surah Yunus, chapter number 10, verse number 37, Allah in the Quran says that this Quran is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's from other than from Allah. On the contrary, it's a confirmation of the revelation that went before it, i.e. the Torah, the Torah, and the Injil, that's the Gospel, and the fuller explain, explanation of the book, wherein there is no doubt from the Lord of the Alameen, Lord of mankind, Jinn and all that exist. So the Quran, as you can see, has got 114 surahs, from Surah al fatiha to Surah al nas 6,236 verses. No addition, no deletion, no contradiction. Mm. But as I said, the Bible failed miserably. Mm. The Bible is replete with contradictions, replete with additions and deletions. This is the reason why I carry all these Bibles, different versions. And they are not the same. So when I carry them, come here, I can show people that there's only one version, many versions. And I can show them the contradictions and at least the mm. I had a debate with Jason, this is the preacher of this country, about contradictions in the Quran versus contradictions mm. in the Bible. And last week, I had a debate with Daniel about this alleged crucifixion of Jesus Christ for him. And I quoted three contradictions. I'm going to put those three here. Because personally, I have found 120 contradictions. 120 contradictions in the Bible. So let me call those three. These three contradictions so, uh, 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 surrounds the, this alleged crucif crucifixion of Jesus Christ. If you read the Bible, then the question is, why was Jesus at the sixth hour on the day of crucifixion? Why was Jesus at the sixth hour on the day of the crucifixion? Now the contradiction here is between the Gospel of Mark and the Gospel of John. 
if you read the Bible, in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 15, verse number 32 to 33, says that on the day of the crucifixion, Jesus was on the cross. But if you read the Bible, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 19, verses number 14 to 16, there he narrated that he was in Paris, quote, on the day of the crucifixion, at the sixth hour, according to John, Jesus was in Pilate's court. Furthermore, another contradiction. According to Gospels, two thieves were crucified along with Jesus. Now the question is, did both thieves mock Jesus? Mm. Did both thieves they mock Jesus? Mm. The contradiction is between the Gospel of Mark and in the Gospel of Luke. If you read the Bible, Gospel of Mark, Chapter number 15, verse number 32 says that both of the thieves they mocked Jesus. But Luke disagreed. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 23, verses number 39 to 43, narrated that one of the thieves mocked Jesus, but the other defended him. Mm. Amazing. Mm. One more verse, contradiction surrounding the crucifixion. Uh, the question now here is did Jesus bear his own cross did Jesus bear his own cross mm. the contradiction here is between the gospel of John and the gospel of Matthew in the gospel of John it is narrated chapter number 19 verse number 70 that it says here that as they as they took Jesus he said he went out bearing his own cross to a place called the place of skull which is called in Hebrew Golgotha so according to John, Jesus carried his own cross. Let's see what Matthew says. It is mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 27, verse number 32 says that as they were marching out, they came upon a man of Sarene, Simon by name. This man they compelled to carry his cross. Mm. So which one is it? Was it Jesus or was it Simon who carried the cross? Another contradiction. Today, as I said, the reason they, this short video is about why I carry several Bibles. So I'm going to go on to additions and deletions. Addition, the Bible is replaced with additions and deletions. They are not the same. Major reason, they are not the same. Look at it. And what God in the Bible says about this, about adding and taking away from his word. If you read the Bible, it is mentioned in the book of Revelations, Chapter number 22, verses number 18 to 19. 18 says that says, God says here that for I testify unto every man that there is the words of the process of this book. If anyone shall add unto these things, God shall add to him the plagues that are written in this book. Mm. Verse number 19 says that. And if anyone mm. shall take away from the words of the prophecy of this book, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, out of the city, and from this book and for the things which are written in this book. Furthermore, in the Bible, it is mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 12, verse number 32. God's talking God says that, Whatsoever I command you, command you, observe to do it. Thou shalt not add thereto, no diminish from it. Mm. Furthermore, in the Bible, in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 30, verses number 5 to 6, says here, 5 says that every word of God is pure. He shall shield unto them that put their trust unto him. Mm. Verse number six. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. Mm. And finally, in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 40, verse number eight, the Bible says that the grass withereth, the flower feathered, but the word of God shall stand forever. So according to, according to these verses, the word of God cannot be changed, should not be changed. If you change it, it ceases to be the word of God. Mm. But we find that several Bible verses in the King James Version of the Roman Catholic Bible have been ceremoni cere ceremoniously been taken out mm. from the NIV. Now, the NIV is generally in agreement with the Nestle Allen edition of the Greek New Testament. The NIV is the world's most popular modern English Bible translation. 
let's go on scene now. Mm. If you read this Bible here, as I said, I've got the NIV here and uh, the Revised Standard Bible, RSV. Now, I'm going to quote a few verses because, as I said, the Bible is a bit with additions and deletions. So, this is sampling of biblical additions and deletions. If you read the Bible, these verses I'm going to quote, they expunged, they took all of them out of these two. New International Version and Reverse Standard Version, if you read the Bible. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 17, verse number 21. It's in here, in these two, they took you out of here. Gospel of Matthew again, chapter number 18, verse number 11. They are in here, they took them out of here, took it out of here. Gospel of Matthew again. Chapter number 23, verse number 14. It's in here, out of here. Gospel of Luke, no, Gospel of Mark, chapter number 7, verse number 16. In here, they took it out of here. Gospel of Mark, chapter number 11, verse number 26. In here, took it out from here, from these two. Gospel of Mark again. Chapter number 15, verse number 28. In here, they chalk it out from, from these two. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 17, verse number 36. In here, out of these two. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 4. In here, they chalk it out from these two. Gospel of John, chapter number 7, verse number 53. In here, Chalk it out from these two. In the, in the book of Acts, chapter 15, verse, verse number 34, in here, out of these two. And, and finally, in the book of Romans, chapter number 16, verse number 24, in here, and they chalk them out from these two. This is the reason why I carry these multiple Bibles. Who's doing this? And it is amazing. When you read it, these verses I've just quoted, the numbers are not here. For example, Matthew 17, 21, there is no 21. No 21 there. It jumped from 20, mm. from 1 to 20. 21 is not out, it jumped on to 22. All the verses, Mark 7, 16, 16 is not here. You go to from 1 to uh, 15, it will jump from 15 to 17, no 16. They chuck them out completely. My brothers and sisters, as I said, the Quran, no contradictions, no deletions. 100 percent word of God, as you can see. That's for some. Even the begotten son of, as I said, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Guess what? They chalk it out. 32, 32 scholars of highest eminence wrote this book. 32 scholars of highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations. They said, begotten was not the original scripture. The begotten, begotten not made, so begotten they chalk it out. First epistle of John 5, 7. For that three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. These three are one. No. He said these three agree. Mm. Chopping and changing. And Mark 16 stops, stops at verse number 8. Verses number 9 to 20, they chop all those verses out, my brothers and sisters. So this is the reason why Daniel and all those people who are saying, Muhammad Lamin, carries all these Bibles, only one Quran, he doesn't even open it. I don't need to open your Bible to quote it. I can debate with any of you 24, 24 hours. I don't need to open it. I can quote it. Alhamdulillah. There is no power or strength except from Allah. Allah made me do it. I don't need to open it. You haven't studied your Bible. I don't need to do it. But I carry this thing to show people that there is no one Bible, several Bibles, 
I mean, why is the original Bible? Mm. Why uh, contradictions and deletions? Why additions, contradictions? Why additions and deletions? Because the word of God should be changed, as I just quoted. Mm. And God is not an author of confusion. Mm. In the first Corinthians, chapter number 14, verse number 33, for God is not an author of confusion. Mm. And in the, book, in the book of Psalms, chapter number 18, verse number 30 says, and the word of the Lord is perfect. So my brother, I'm going to stop this video here. As you can see, read the Quran for your own salvation.